Welcome to this episode of Coaching for Creatives. I'm Aura McKay. I am a business coach and the founder of Business of Creativity, and I am your host for today's conversation about are you charging enough for your creative services? Are you charging enough for your creative services? This is a big question. And Pricing creative services can be very compl complicated. Pricing creative services, you're pricing a promise. You're pricing something intangible. You're trying to price something that is a future experience, deliverable, transformation. It's not something that you can just go and kick the tires of. It's not like you're buying a car or a product that you can touch and you can say, okay, I'm buying this particular one. And you can see, is the seam lifted? Is the zipper broken? When you're buying a tangible product or even trade services like a plumber or a, a landscaper, well, that's a little bit creative for sure, but like a plumber or a carpenter or something like this coming in and they're using a skill, that gets closer to pricing creativity. But how do you know you're charging enough for your creative services when pricing creativity is so complicated? You are pricing creativity, ideas, innovation, and talent. These things are not tangible. They're less, they're a little bit more slippery. They're harder to pin down in terms of, is it good creative service or is it not a good creative service? And a lot of times that ambiguity makes it even more difficult for us as the service providers to figure out how to put a price on it. And then this idea of, am I charging enough for my creative services? Some of you might be thinking, am I charging too much? Like, how do I know if I'm pricing myself out of my market? And the am I charging enough and am I charging too much? These are both at their essence, the same question. How much should I be charging? Or how do I put a price on creativity? And there's a lot of people out there that are going to tell you all different ways that you should be putting your price on creativity. And some of them are, you should know your own numbers and you need to know your costs and then you price based on your cost. You should know what other people are charging. What are your competitors or the marketplace charging? You should price based on your skill. You should price based on your time. You should, there's so much shooting when it comes to pricing our creative services that it makes it even more complicated. First of all, it's no wonder that you might be confused about your pricing or second guessing your pricing, even if you've been in business for a long time, because how do you actually know if you're charging enough for your creative services? One of the clues is if you are on a sales call and somebody says, wow, you should be charging way more. That's a pretty good indication. And you may think nobody has ever said that to me. Why would anybody ever say you're not charging enough? But the, the thing about it is, folks, is that it does happen. In fact, it happened this morning in the business mastermind call that we had one of our members share that she was on a sales call and the person said, you know what, you really should be charging way more for the service that you provide. What does that mean? Does it mean that this person is ridiculous in her prices? No, what it means is that her client is experiencing more value and is receiving more value than they think they have paid for. The client is the one who gets to say what is valuable about your service and do they think it's worth it or not worth it to them. You get to decide based on your costs and how you wanna position yourself in the marketplace maybe what you would like to charge, but the client gets to decide, is it, worth, is it worth it? If there's a misalignment, if you're not charging enough for the value that your client is receiving, the client or prospect will probably tell you, wow, I thought it was going to be way more than that. Wow, you could really charge a lot more. Whoa, I thought it was going to be double that. Now, if you hear that once, it may be an anomaly. But if you hear it twice, 
for sure, you're probably not charging enough. Now, does that mean that you need to raise your prices? Maybe. Or as the case is for a lot of my clients and especially my photography clients, you may just need to deliver less for that same price. Bear with me. If you are doing a photo shoot and you are charging, let's say, $10 for the photo shoot. I'm using ridiculous numbers so that you don't get attached to the actual pricing numbers. Let's say you're charging 10 bananas for the photo shoot and your client says, wow, I would totally pay 20 bananas for what you're delivering. You can have a choice. You can think about it and look at all the other variables that go into pricing and think, hmm, maybe I should raise my price. Maybe not to 20 bananas, but maybe it's time to raise my price. Or you could say, hmm, the client thinks that this, everything that I'm providing is worth more than 10 bananas. Maybe I don't need to deliver so much. Maybe I could deliver three images instead of 30 images. Maybe I could shoot for an hour instead of three hours and charge 10 bananas for that. If 10 bananas is what you're comfortable charging, make sure that you are delivering the value for 10 bananas, not the value for 20 bananas. I know I went a little bit off road there with my metaphors and my examples, but my hope is that you can understand that if your price is not enough, or even if your price is too much, you don't necessarily have to change your price. You may just need to change what you include in your offers, or you may need to change how you're positioning that price and that value in your marketing and your sales calls. The question of, am I charging enough for my creative services? The very base thing you need to figure out is, are you charging enough based on your costs? As long as you are charging enough to cover your minimum costs for what you include in your prices, you're charging enough for you. Is there opportunity for you to charge more? Possibly. If your market is telling, I would pay more, there's a possibility for you to charge more. Do you have to? No. But do make sure that the best and easiest way to be wildly successful in your freelance business is to have offers that align with the value expectations of your clients and to have prices that align with the investment they expect to make and that both of those position you in a way in your marketplace that makes sense for your brand and for your clients. If you have questions about any of this, please reach out to me, send me a DM, book one of my free calls, and make sure that you get your answers for your questions today. For those of you that are listening to this as a podcast or watching it on my YouTube channel, please do rate it as the stars, comment, subscribe, do all the things that help us get into more ears and more inboxes. Thank you so much for listening today. I'm Laura McKay, your host for Coaching for Creatives. We'll see you here next time. Mm-hmm.